Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video we're going to talk about chemical control in the food industry. We will explore the importance of chemical control, key items, requirements, and best practices for maintaining an adequate chemical control program. Let's get started. Chemical control is crucial in the food industry to ensure the safety and quality of the products we consume. Contaminants, residues, and improper chemical use can have severe consequences. Here are the key items you should focus on for effective chemical control in the food industry. 1. Chemical storage. Secure, well-ventilated areas with proper shelving and labeling. 2. Safety equipment. Ensure that personal protective equipment is available and used by employees handling chemicals. 3. Chemical inventory. Maintain an inventory of all chemicals on site. 4. Safety data sheets. Keep up-to-date safety data sheets for all chemicals used. 5. Training. Regular training for staff on chemical handling and safety. These items will be explained in more detail shortly. Cleaning and pest control chemicals are vital in the food industry for maintaining hygiene and preventing contamination. It's essential to select and use these chemicals correctly, following manufacturer instructions. This also applies for boiler chemicals, maintenance chemicals, laboratory chemicals, and others. When working in the food industry, you will need to create a chemical control procedure to ensure the safe and responsible handling of chemicals in order to prevent contamination and maintain food quality. The procedure may include different items such as the ones listed here. Now, let's talk about each of the possible items you might need to include in a chemical control procedure. First, we have the chemical inventory management. Maintain a comprehensive inventory of all chemicals used within the facility. Keep track of chemical names, quantities, usage instructions, and storage locations. Secondly, there is the chemical selection. Choose chemicals that are approved and safe for use in food processing. Refer to safety data sheets to understand the properties, hazards, and safe handling procedures for each chemical. Please note that when working in kosher or organic certified facilities, you would need to get all the cleaning and pest control chemicals approved before using them. It is recommended to have an approved chemical list for everyone's reference. Third, is the storage and handling. Store chemicals in designated areas away from food storage or preparation zones. Use appropriate storage containers, ensuring they are sealed and labeled. Follow the first in, first out principle to use chemicals before their expiration dates. Train staff on proper chemical handling, including the use of personal protective equipment. Chemical access should be restricted to authorized personnel only. Secure chemicals in locked cabinets or storage areas. Regularly inspect locks and access control systems to prevent unauthorized entry. Next, we have the labeling and documentation. Proper labeling is key. Label all chemical containers with clear and accurate information, including name of the chemical, hazard warnings such as caution or corrosive for example, date of receipt, expiration date, instructions for use and emergency contact information. Chemical products such as sanitizers, cleaners, lubricants, solvents, boiler chemicals, pest control chemicals, shall have a label that clearly identifies the content of the container. Accurate documentation of chemical usage, spills, and incidents is also essential for traceability and compliance. Usage and dilution. Follow manufacturer instructions for the correct use and dilution of chemicals. Avoid cross-contamination by using separate containers for dilution. It is recommended to have a color code for containers for cleaning different areas for example. Ensure proper mixing and dilution ratios are maintained for cleaning and sanitizing solutions. Number 6. Documentation. Maintain detailed records of chemical usage, including quantities used, dates, and the purpose of use. Document any chemical spills, accidents, or incidents and the corrective actions taken. Have proper records for cleaning food contact areas. This will demonstrate compliance of cleaning activities during audits. Training and education. Provide regular training to employees on chemical safety, including handling, storage, and spill response procedures. Ensure that all employees understand the importance of chemical control for food safety. Regulatory compliance. To ensure chemical control in the food industry, you must adhere to relevant regulations and standards. This includes inspections, record keeping, and compliance with agencies like the FDA, EPA, OSHA, USDA, and local health department guidelines. Number 9. Inspections and Audits. 
Conduct regular inspections of chemical storage areas to ensure proper labeling and secure storage. Prepare for audits and inspections by regulatory agencies by maintaining up-to-date documentation. Number 10. Emergency Response. Develop and communicate emergency response procedures in case of chemical spills, leaks, or accidents. Provide training on the correct actions to take in emergency situations. And lastly, periodic review and improvement. Regularly review and update the chemical control procedure to incorporate best practices and address any issues or incidents that may have occurred. In summary, chemical control is essential for maintaining the safety and quality of food products. By focusing on key items, using cleaning and pest control chemicals correctly, labeling and securing chemicals, and complying with regulations, you can ensure that your food processing facility operates at the highest standards. By following a proper chemical control procedure, food industry businesses can maintain the safety and quality of their products while adhering to regulations and promoting a culture of safety and responsibility among their employees. Thank you for watching our video on chemical control in the food industry. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. Stay safe, and see you in the next video.